Hello everyone. In this series, we are going to learn Flutter and Dart programming. And in this particular video, we are going to set up Dart. We are going to set up VS Code, and then we are going to create our first Dart project. Okay. So these are the steps we are going to follow. So let me start with the Dart pad. So if you see here. There is this website called dartpad.dev. So for learning Dart programming, you don't have to install anything. If you don't prefer to, if you want to keep it lightweight, you can go to this website, and then here you can do your programs. Here you will see the console output, right? So this is a very simple way of uh, understanding Dart programs. But when you want to take it serious, when you want to take it one step ahead, and you want to download and install in your local environment, you can click this button which says Install SDK. And when you click that, it will take you to this website. And previously, in the older versions, there was a separate Dart SDK. But now, uh, from Flutter 1.21, the Flutter SDK itself has the Dart also as part of it. So, if you are seeing this video now and you have not installed uh, Dart SDK before, don't go for installing Dart separately. You just install the Flutter SDK. Okay. So, I'm clicking this one, Flutter SDK. So here I am presented with options, and I am using Windows. So I am in Windows. So these are the minimum requirements. Uh, yeah. So if you don't have Git for Windows, uh, you have to download and install that first. And also check your PowerShell version. If it's not 5.0, you have to upgrade it. So these are the two requirements. And then you can download the Flutter SDK as a zip file. So that's the first step. You just download the Flutter SDK as the zip file, and then you can extract the zip file to a folder that you prefer, right? And the third step is you have to add the Flutter to a environment variable. So in Windows, you just type environment variables, and then you can go to environment variables, and under user variables, you can go to the path variable and then click edit. Here you can basically say new and add the path for the Flutter bin. So wherever you have extracted the files, you will see a folder called Flutter, and within the folder there is a folder called Bin. You have to add the entire path. So for example, if you have extracted here in C, maybe in C drive, then you have to add a path like this, right? So all these are men men mentioned in this uh, website itself. So if you see here, uh, yeah, see. So download the zip. Extract the files. There is another way instead of downloading zip and extracting files, you can clone. If you are already familiar with Git, you can use this command to basically clone uh, the all these same files from the Git itself. But yeah, you can use either one of this. So once you have the Flutter in somewhere, then you have to update your path. So that's what we discuss now. So here they have given the same steps. So once you have extracted the Flutter, you can check. If your Flutter setup is correct by typing this commands var Flutter and that this will show from where the system is uh, looking to get these commands. So I see that in my system my environment variable is pointing to here. So I have basically added the Flutter bin and that's it. So now my Flutter dot all the commands are should work. So let's check that Flutter. Maybe I'll check the version. Yeah, and then dot version right so now our flutter dart setup is complete and if we want we can stop it at this and we can start using dart and flutter but it will be fancy to have an ide setup so that the development process becomes easier so i have uh, downloaded so there are two major options basically there are multiple options but there are two major things so one is the android studio intellij based android studio and the other is VS Code. Okay, so I prefer VS Code because it, it supports you know multiple languages and things, and we don't have to jump here and there. So it's a single ID for everything. So yeah, if you haven't installed VS Code already, just go to VS Code, download and install uh, the VS Code. Right. So that's the first step. You just download and install VS Code, and once you are within VS Code, this is how your starting screen looks like. And then you can go to extensions. For Flutter and Dart programming, you have to install two extensions. So search for Dart in the extension manager, so which is this button. 
So click this button and then search for Dart. And there are multiple things that shows up for Dart, right? But the first search result and from the publisher Dart code is the right one. I mean, it's the official one uh, plugin for the Dart for VS Code, right? So you can install this and then you can click on this publisher, right? And then there is another plugin from the same publisher, Flutter. That's also the official plugin, so you can install that as well. So these are the two plugins that you need to install uh, to have the uh, extensibility in your VS Code for the Flutter and Dart development, right? So with all these six uh, steps done, uh, we are ready to start our Dart program. So I am just uh, going to the file manager and then I am just opening a folder. You can create any folder you want and then you can just point VS Code to that folder. So I have a folder called Dart Programming. I'm pointing it there. Okay, let me open a different folder. So maybe I'll create a new folder, one called Dart. And then I'm selecting the Dart folder. So just to keep a clean folder, right? So now I have a new folder and see the folder name is here. Now I can create a new file. So let's call our file hello.dart, right? So we are in the program. So let's create our very first Dart program. So it's more of a C-like syntax, right? So, and you see that the VS code was giving me some value help. So when I type main, uh, so it is proposing that it can auto complete. So I press tab and I see it has filled in some code for me. And then I can print something. So traditionally we print hello world. So I did that. And here is another extension I like for VS code. So Flutter, and that I mean mainly Dart programming. So it requires uh, you know all the lines to be terminated with a semicolon, right? So you see it's showing me an error. Expected to find a semicolon, right? So I I I like you know I spend most of my time doing Python programs where the semicolon is not required. Right? So here every time, uh, for example, when I'm typing hello world, I have done typing, right? Now I have to move to the end of my statement to put the semicolon, which is time consuming for me. So for that, there is a nice extension in VS Code that is called colonize, right? How, you know, a British colonized India. So there is a colonize, which basically adds semicolon to your line. And basically there are three main shortcuts, shift enter, alt enter, and control alt enter. So they basically add a semicolon at the end of the line. So now I am in my program. So I am in hello world when I am typing hello world. So now if I want to add a semicolon at the end, I can just do shift enter and it adds the semicolon. Right? So now I save the file and I can basically run the file. So when I click run button, I see that hello world gets printed. Right? So this is a simple one uh, dart file. So we can uh, keep using this. There is no restriction on that. But in a traditional, you know, in a, in a project setup, uh, we will want uh, that project to be there, uh, which has all this git ignore files, all the YAML files, etc. Right? So all the boilerplate. Uh, so that the that SDK can do for us. So I'm in the terminal now, and I'm going to type that. So let's uh, let's create a new project, right? So to create a new project, I can type that create and then I have to just give the project name. Right? So let's call it hello that. And then I see that it created a folder here in VS Code hello that. Right? And then uh, there are a lot of files here, git ignore, up spec etc. And then we have the bin directory also. So inside bin, I see hello dot that dot. If I see that, again, there is a nice and beautiful hello world program, which I can execute. And I see the hello world, right? So this is how you can create a Dart project from the command line, right? So we saw how to create our Dart file, and then we saw how to create a Dart project from the command line. But most of the time, we'll not be doing all this, right? We have VS Code, and there should be a better way to create a Dart project, right? And that is so. Now all you have to do is in Windows, you have to press Command Shift. P and in Mac you have to press sorry in Mac you have to press Command Shift P in Windows you have to press Control Shift P so I'm doing Control Shift P and that brings up this little command palette here I have to type that and 
I have recently used it, so it's showing up in the first place. So for you also, if you type start typing that, it will list all these options, and see you see an option called new project. So you can select that and press enter, and then it asks you for the dot template to use. So this is the first one is for a web app, second one is console app, dot package, server app, simple console app. So in our case, we want a simple console app. So I select the last template. And then it again it asks for a folder. I think the current folder is good. Uh, maybe let's change it to the new folder we created. So I select this folder, and then it's asking for a, a name. So I am going to call it VS Code Demo. Right, and the new VS Code window switches uh, to a new window just to open this project. So if you see, the project name is now called VS Code Demo. And it has the similar structure, like how we created a command line project, right? So we have a bin directory and we have a demo dot file, and again the same hello world. So if we run this, we see hello world, and that's how you set up Flutter SDK and that SDK, and that's how you start your that journey. All the best. Thank you.